Hello everyone, it's Bobby from Dig Coding here and this is the 18th video in the building and launching a real Django website series. In the last video, link is up there, what we did is we started dissecting a HTML template that we bought online and started making it so that it would link with our views in our Django project. So we're going to kickstart this video straight into it again. And so yeah, look at my screen. I've already um, fired up my virtual environment and started a server, and this here is localhost. And if we look in the inspection panel, you can see in the console now that we've got no errors really. So these just sort of, um, yeah, just fail warnings. When they're red, you've got to worry about them. But what was happening in the la at the end of the last video is we had some SVGs that weren't being pulled through from the static, so I remapped them quickly. I, um, I that was just a typo thing that I did. So. We are now in a position to start creating or to continue creating our new base and index HTML. So we've called this base v2. And if, if you look at our original base, what we've done is we've all we've got is a head and a body. And then within that body, we've got block contents. So that's kind of what we're going to do now. Uh, what we want is a new base template that the index HTML can then extend. So <clears throat> excuse me right okay so if we'll, this is the new base v2 so now we've got a head here that will remain the same now we need what we need to do is understand what each of the elements do so most templates have these comments here so this is start wrapper i doubt we're going to be doing anything with that that will remain in our base html you've then got the preloader so if i update this it's already loaded everything so if I close that down open up the browser and go incognito and then reload what you'll be met with is a loader there you go so those three dots there that is what that element is doing preloader you've then got to start the header wrap so this is a header element so within that we should have the navigation and everything so what we'll do is we'll, for now we'll leave that in our base HTML. We might want to have a block for the header and extend that block in each of the other HTML documents because we might want some unique bits and pieces in there. You've then got the main content and then you've got a footer. So what we'll have is we will keep the footer in our base HTML and what we've got to scroll to the top here. I would have said as you scroll down there'll be a little that surprises me I thought oh, there it is it, it does pop up you see that at the bottom bottom right that there will take it to the top so we'll keep that in the HTML base and then we've got some off canvas this will be the pop in off canvas wrap up for the uh, contact us so if I or click this there you go so that's what that wrapper is we'll keep that in the base HTML for now and then you've got the start for a slide menu oh, that could have been what that was um, but we'll, look, we'll keep them in for now a side overlay side search menu so if we go in here and click search that will come in with a an overlay that's what we want we want to keep that in our base because we want access to it in each of our in index about and contact html documents so we'll keep that we might we might add them in as partials but i'll show you how to do that later on in the tutorial You've got an aside cart, so I'm assuming if we click on cart in here, uh, have we got a cart? Doesn't look like we can access it easily from here, but it might be in the about us page or shop pages. Um, a side menu, right? So what we've just done there is we've we've gone into the main part of the HTML and we've just worked out what each of the sections do. So it clearly defines a header here, start header wrapper, end header wrapper. You've then got your main body of the HTML. That will be where the slider is and everything else, all of the other sections. You've got your footer and all of these other sections here. We'll keep them in the base. So this part of the HTML document is where we're pulling in scripts. So these are the JavaScript files that are now in our static directory that we're pulling in. We'll need all of these JavaScript files to make the uh, template work. We'll go through them a little bit later. One of them is jQuery. So we've got jQuery, um, the library, then we've got jQuery migrate. So there's a few jQuery 
We've got jQuery Ajax Chimp. So it's using already quite a lot of jQuery libraries that are very, very handy. And we'll start looking at those later on in the tutorial. So that is all we're going to do with this other than we are going to, let's save this as index version two. <clears throat> Excuse me for keep clearing my throat. And let's open up base version two again. So we've got index version two and base version two. They're now the mirror images of one another. And what we'll do in base v2 is we will now we will now uh, open. No, we're gonna we will just remove the the uh, main element altogether and replace it with a block tag. So this is a temp a, a Django template tag called block. I have got a video that I've gone through already on my channel about template tags. The link to it is just up there. So we'll call this content. And we'll end the template tag, end block. Okay. And that's all we're going to do with the base HTML for now. Using block template tags and the extends template tag allows us to join two HTML documents together or numerous HTML documents together. So the base HTML document is now saved with version two. With the index file, what we'll do is we will delete everything other than a load static that is above and below the main, the main element that we've got there. What we want at the top is a new template tag called extends. And what we do is we tell, we, we add to the HTML document that we're extending a certain template. And in this case, it's main slash base v2 dot HTML. Now we will change the name of these files when we've deleted the old versions, but for now we'll keep it as that. And what we want is, so this HTML document now extends the base v2 document. Um, but we, what we now need to say where we want this HTML element to be located in the base v2 document. And we do that by saying block content. And then underneath it, we then close off with end block. I did uh, a tutorial in the earlier videos of this um, series about this. So we're not doing anything fancy. We're just now linking the index or index version two to the new base document. And we'll do that for each of them, but we'll just look at index for now. So that's all we've done is we've gone through the template that we bought online and we changed all of the mapping by using the static template tag to the new files or the, the same files that are in a new directory called static. We've then saved that file as a new base HTML document. And then we've saved it again as an index HTML document and used two template tags to link the two of them. That's what we've done. Nothing too fancy. We won't worry about any of these elements yet. We will just Go into our views.py and if you remember we added base version 2 but now we should be able to look at index version 2. Look at the server, it's reloading and if we look at the browser and we refresh, is that working? It is working. If we look in inspect, there we go, that's all working. So it's, it's all we've now done is we've just now gone a little bit further into stringing a HTML template into our Django project. So that's great. What we now need to do is we need to save index version two. Actually, what we can do is we can delete the old index file. We can delete the old contact file. We can delete the about file and the media file. Actually, we can delete the old base as well. There you go. We'll rename base v2 to base, which is the original file name. We'll rename index v2 to index. And then in the index file, we will now save as, and we'll save as about, save as contact, We'll save as media. 
And then what we'll do, we'll go into our views again and we'll change this back to index. Save, that should now on here say it's reloading. And if we go into here and refresh the page, template base v2 does not exist. <laughs> I did say I'll change that. So index, let's change the uh, extends to base media save oh, sorry I need to go back into that and save contact we'll do that as well Django soon tells you if you've made a mistake and I do make a lot of them so I should now be looking yeah, again there we go is that right sorry that's um, Let's fire up the server again. There we go, that's now working. Refresh. There we go, that's the home page. Now we go to about. Okay, they're working. The only other thing we now need to do is we now need to change the um, the error handling template. So we'll do that quickly. If you remember, we saved them in a directory, in the main directory called templates. These are now extending. They're now extending. Yeah, these it will work because it's extending the other the new base HTML, but it will look a bit crazy. So what we'll do, we'll adjust those when we look at the elements on the template we've bought. No dramas there. So we're getting there now. We've got the template. We've started dissecting it, dissecting it down into um, different. HTML documents that we can now render using the views. Uh, the next video, we will start looking at the actual sections in each of the um, HTML documents. So we'll look at index. So we'll now start going through these sections here, working out which ones we want to keep. And we'll do that for the index, the about, the media, and the contact us page. And we'll be doing that by looking back at the templates that we've downloaded, finding what comes out of the box, and seeing if it fits the project. If it does, we'll just copy that paste it into the new files we've just created, remap the assets like we did in the last video and save and it should start looking very much like a website. I think the video after that will start adding some images. So we'll get some images downloaded from Shutterstock or um, Invato Elements or other websites that allow you to download images with the license as well. And we'll get them into the website and it should then start looking a bit like a website. So that's it for, for, to, for today's video. Please subscribe, please like, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.